74 Ukrainian refugees and musicians have banded together and are touring the world as the Ukrainian Freedom Orchestra. They've received wide acclaim during their European stops. Let's have a listen to the orchestra playing the Ukrainian national anthem. Well, the orchestra is a collaboration between the Metropolitan Opera and the Polish National Opera, and its mission is to provide an artistic defense of its homeland. To get a better understanding of just what this means, we've reached Carrie Lynn Wilson. She is the Canadian conductor who conceived and leads the Ukrainian Freedom Orchestra, and she's in Hamburg, Germany, set to take to the stage or to the podium tonight. Uh, Carrie Lynn, thanks so much for joining us. Thank you so much for having me. It's yeah, our cool. pleasure. It's our pleasure. Let's talk about this. How did the idea for this orchestra come about? I was horrified seeing the images of these refugees flowing out of Ukraine and to see that Putin's regime had tried to silence my colleagues, my friends, my family, and fellow artists in Ukraine. And I wanted to take action. I wanted to fight this war, but as a musician on the cultural front. And that's when I had the idea to reach out to these refugees and give them their voice back. I thought of creating an orchestra of these refugees. So this was actually just a dream out of turning my horror into action. And my husband, Peter Gelb, the head of the Metropolitan Opera, loved the idea and put it into action. So there's so much to unpack here, and so I want to get to it all. Yes. But 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 let's let's first start with the musicians. What what is it like for them? What is the reaction uh, you get from them? What do they tell you about what taking part in this has meant to them? Number one, they thank me. They thank me because they have been given this opportunity to fight for their country. As soldiers of music, I like to call them, we are fighting on the cultural front for the freedom and independence of Ukraine. We have this opportunity to galvanize audiences around the world on international stages and keep the resolve and drive in solidarity of Ukraine and ultimately the free democratic world. So these musicians are soldiers in the way they're energy and focus and determination to fight for their country is channeled in our music. This is the best way for us to fight the war. So we are driven by this passion and this incredible desire to tell Putin in his face that culture is alive, that it is thriving, and ultimately the Ukrainian culture is the soul of the country. We know what success on the battlefield, and of course it is often brutal uh, and deadly in terms of the costs uh, on both sides. How do you measure success in your effort, in your artistic defense of, of mm. Ukraine? On a personal front, I see the success in the fact that these musicians are grateful and inspired and feel victorious in the fact that they are playing their music on these prestigious stages of the world, and also the fact that we're giving hope to our family and friends in Ukraine. I have cousins, one of which is fighting in Donbass since the top of the invasion. He writes me every day saying, thank you for your support. Thank you for the inspiration when I wake up at four in the morning and put on my gear, that I have the opportunity to, to feel the love that we are sharing on stages. At the risk, and we only have time for one more, but it's a double-barreled question, but can I ask you how the audiences react and what you want the audiences to take away from your performances? Well, based on what you're hearing, we played this arrangement by Yuri Shevchenko of the Ukrainian National Anthem. Every performance at the very end, it's not in the program, it's an encore. There are tears flowing in all of the audience members who stand, who have given us standing ovations and feel this incredible warmth and camaraderie and solidarity together. It's the most moving tour of my life. It's the most moving experience with these musicians that we all share as one, the soul and the artistic force of Ukraine together. 
and ultimately we communicate that to audiences in a very beautiful, intimate, but emotionally charged setting. And so there are images of some of these performances of audiences shedding tears the entire time. It, it's extremely moving. And I'm so proud to be at the helm of this orchestra of Soldiers of Music. Your pride certainly shows. Uh, best of luck with the performance tonight and the rest of your performances. Uh, thank you for taking thank the time. Thank you so very much. And all my best to the Ukrainian community of Canada, of which I'm very proud where I grew up in Winnipeg. Absolutely. And there are so many, as you know. Carrie Lynn Wilson, conductor of the Ukrainian Freedom Orchestra.